Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel, Juliet Kitchen, Yasmin here. Today I'm actually showing you a very simple recipe, all it requires is a little bit of extra time and honestly you don't have to sit and watch it so you could go about your business when you're making this. It is actually my way of making a very simple chicken broth. I say chicken broth versus stock because there is a slight difference um, in the two but I'll review that with you in a second. This uh, chicken broth today is going to be a, a small batch. My preference honestly is I like to make smaller batches. I hate using the freezer if I don't have to. Occasionally if I have a lot of bones uh, leftovers I will make a large batch but for today I'm making uh, a small batch because I have about two pounds of bones and meat combination and I don't want to have it sit in the freezer or the fridge uh, too long so I'm using it up today. So let's get started. While you stick around, be kind and generous. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. If you love this video, click that like button and be sure to hit that bell so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. I will also leave a link to the written recipe down below. You can get that in the description box where you'll find all of my written recipes. Um, these are actually bones and meat combined. I have the backbone. I've removed the skin because I want all that excess fat to not be in my uh, uh, broth. And I say this is a broth because what makes it a broth is because it has a combination of the meat as well as the bones. So all I really need to do now is get these bones in here. And then I'm going to add, this is cold tap water. I'm going to add this in. This is two quarts. I need to get some more, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to actually add another two quarts of the cold water. Okay, and then the other ingredients that goes in here, I'm using a parsnip in here. Some people would use carrots if you want a more intense flavor. Any type of ingredients that you add here will change the flavor but the parsnip is going to keep it nice and mild and I want sort of a clear uh, broth. I have here leeks. I happen to have um, a leek in my home but this was a small leek and it's actually just about uh, I would say maybe a half a cup of uh, leeks. It was a very small piece actually. And then I have onions that I uh, chopped and the onion um, is about a half a cup as well maybe a little less it was actually a quarter of a small um, onion I don't use the skin on the onions but some chef use the skin on the onions because I suppose uh, they like it but it changes the color of the stock it won't be clear the other thing I have is um, celery. This is about half of a long celery uh, stem. Again, about half a cup. And then I have here parsley. So with the parsley, I don't want the leaves. I'm actually going to be uh, saving the leaves because I want to use them in a uh, sauce that I'm going to be making later. And I'll share that recipe for the sauce and my pan fried chicken just put that in there it's about three or four the stems are short if you you using longer stem you might want to reduce it to like two and then um, the other thing I have I like thyme so I'm going to use two small uh, sprigs of thyme one bay leaf I have here um, about 10 to 12 uh, peppercorns I'm going to leave them whole some people crackle them and I like the garlic flavor in my stock so this is one small garlic that I um, actually smashed and really what I want to do I'm going to get everything down here in the pot I'm going to turn my stove on low 
and the reason uh, I'm using very low heat I want it to come up to a low simmer it's going to take a little while that's why I say you need a little patience here with this it's going to take a while to come up uh, to a simmer as it come up to a simmer it's going to have probably some of that stuck that you know the impurities that you don't want in to go back into the stock so I'm going to skim that off so let's get this started okay I'm going to keep the flame on low low medium low is fine and I'm just going to let this hang out so guys for the uh, broth you really don't need to stir or do anything to it it's just going to do its thing um, some of the equipment that you need, I use this beautiful skimmer. It has very fine holes to skim off any impurities if necessary. And then I have a jug here um, that holds this fancy strainer uh, with fine holes. And I'm going to be straining the broth sometime down the road when it's ready to be strained. Uh, the other uh, thing about making a homemade broth or a homemade stock is you typically don't put salt in it honestly the stock is something that's used inside of another dish and that dish gets flavored so for example if I'm making chicken soup I will use my homemade chicken stock or broth whichever one I chose to make um, that's going to go into the chicken soup and of course the chicken soup gets seasoned so it's really unnecessary to season it I mean, in the grocery stores, when you purchase it, it always say low sodium or they have sodium in it. And one of the reasons for that is really because um, it helps to stabilize the stock. It's uh, uh, it salt act as a cure, so it gives it a longer shelf life. That's why I prefer as often as I can to make my own. But I do use store boards as well. I try to stick to an organic uh, board. The meat that I'm using in here is actually um, organic uh, chicken. So, okay, beautiful people, I'm starting to see some activity in the uh, chicken uh, stock. Okay, so I'm going to start skimming off. Look at this. You want to skim off that impurity. And this is the reason why you want to start this at low heat and you don't want, you want to start removing this as soon as you start to see some bubbles um, you will get as much of it out as you can because you really don't want those impurities back into the stock because then your stock wouldn't have that beautiful clear color you honestly won't be able to get every single bit of it and you just want to be careful because if you're too rough and tough with it you're going to end up putting it back in as you're skimming and this is a little bit of uh, meat and bone, so it wouldn't have a tremendous amount of impurities. I think that's it. It really doesn't have much. We're good. And this is it. It's just going to hang out and simmer um, on low. I will probably do this for about two hours. It's a small batch. Chicken uh, broth and stock you can uh, cook for up to like four hours, I would say. No more than five. So here, this is all of the impurities. Not much because it's a small batch. So guys, our chicken stock has been simmering. My chicken stock has been simmering for the last two hours or so. So I'm going to uh, turn off uh, the uh, heat and get ready to strain it it's pretty hot okay beautiful people look at this board how beautiful and clear it is I'm just going to store them in here this was about four quarts of uh, cold liquid that I use so it reduced a little bit but not that much so it's about three and a half quarts or so this is a small amount so it can cool out at room temperature or if, you, or if you want to cool it down faster you can certainly put it in an ice bath but don't refrigerate until after it cools look at that color it's amazing just what I was looking for once they're 
cold I can store them in the refrigerator for about three days or so I don't like to do, save it for more than that but you can freeze them for up to a month that's my time frame that I like you can store them for longer but honestly I think after a month which is uh, uh, quite a bit uh, you start to lose some of that flavor and you definitely want to defrost it in the refrigerator before uh, using it for people I hope that you will take some time to make your own homemade chicken broth or stock. Remember, stock you leave out the meat and you just use the chicken bones, but it's quite delicious. Until next time, happy cooking!